Trust me, this will blow your mind. In less than four minutes, I'll show you how you can generate really decent documentation for your code. Be it legacy code, be it a project where you were really lazy enough and you couldn't write any documentation, this can solve your problem. I wanted to introduce you to this uh, open source repository called DocBuddy, which scans through your docu uh, code and generates documentation. Uh, for that, I wanted to tell you this fun fact. There are 29,000 companies which still uses COBOL and about 90% of Fortune 500 companies still rely upon COBOL. 250 billion lines of code are still uh, written in COBOL and are in production and about 95% of ATM transactions are in COBOL. Eventually, companies would realize that they would have to modernize it and migrate it to much more advanced and powerful programming languages like Python or Java or whatever it is. They would be really uh, running into a problem because the, the young generation developers and engineers wouldn't, wouldn't understand co what COBOL is. And there's gotta be something which should, which should write a good documentation. I thought I should put uh, this dog buddy into test by running some sample COBOL files. To test that, I've generated about 20 COBOL files here. And if you read the names of these files, um, these are files which kind of simulates the fi sample financial application. If you want this sample code, just drop me a comment. Uh, without any further ado, let's jump into it. So this readme file is self-explanatory. Just go through it, configure it as this documentation says. And once you configure it, run this command, just like how the documentation says. Since this FinCobol app has everything written in COBOL, I mentioned the file types as COBOL. If your application is written in Python or it has mixed uh, file extension types, just mention those uh, file extensions. File in this case, I only have COBOL, so I'm gonna go ahead and run it. In probably less than a minute, it will go through all the COBOL files and generates the documentation for me. It's, it's pretty cool just to think about it. I was testing it for other programming languages too. It ran seamlessly for Python, JavaScript, and markup languages like HTML. It did it did pretty well. If you, if you observe, there is a new file that just got generated. It's called report audit logs.cbl api doc.md. Let's spend like 30 seconds just to go through what exactly it spit it out. It says it's a COBOL uh, program. It's designed to process audit logs from a file display them on screen and indicate successful generation of audit logs. The program re reads records sequentially from an input file, displaying each record's timestamp, action type, user ID, so on and so forth. And it goes through line by line. As you can see, this is actually markup. If you push them into any version control uh, software like GitLab or GitHub, you would be able to read it with you know inundation and, and, and all that good stuff. Uh, I mean, it does really good job. I mean, it gave me a good understanding of what this uh, program file has and what are all the things that, that's in this COBOL file. As you can see, it's actually generating documentation for each and every single file. That's pretty neat. You probably be asking uh, now, like how much would it cost if I were to use my own large language model? In my example, I used OpenAI's model, so I configured it. Prior to this uh, recording, I tested it on the same code repository, which costed me roughly about 43 cents. Uh, in most organizations, probably the lines of code would be significantly higher for next-gen engineers and developers. It's pretty good uh, uh, spend and it's totally worth it. So I think that's all for this video. If you found this video informative, please consider subscribing to my channel and I'll try to make more and more informative videos like this. Thank you so much and I will see you in another video. Until then, keep learning.